When creating your schema markup, have you ever wondered what the best way is to connect two different data items together? We've created the Schema Pass tool to facilitate this process. The Schema Pass tool can be found by going to schemaapp.com, clicking on Resources, Tools, and then Schema Pass. Once you get into the tool, all you have to do is select a primary class and a secondary class, and then click to find a path. Maybe you're wanting to connect an event to a video object. So you would select the primary class, which in this case would be an event. And then maybe the video object is a secondary thing that exists on the event page. So we would select video object and click to find a path. You'll notice that most of the time there are two separate sections for the paths. One is possible paths linking event to video object. And the second is reversal paths that link the video to the event. So these options would be used if the video was the primary data item. You can then look through the available properties to see which one makes the most sense when it comes to defining the relationship between these two items. For example, events have the property subject of, which expects a kind of creative work, which video object inherits from. So what that means is that video object is a subclass of creative work. So that's one option. There are others here like recorded in, work featured, work performed, and about. If you ever want more clarification about what these properties really mean, you can always click on them and look at their entry in schema.org. For example, if I wanted to know what work featured really meant, I could open up the entry and read the definition of the property here. Assessing the definitions can help you understand how these properties can best define and leverage that relationship between your two items. You'll notice that the possible paths and reversal paths are different. So there may actually be a property within the reversal paths that makes more sense for defining this relationship. Keep in mind that using these reversal properties would make the video object the primary entity and using this property would then embed the event markup within that video object. You'll notice that certain data items can only be connected in one direction. For example, if we wanted to connect an organization to some kind of a service, you'll notice that there are only reversal paths available. What this means is that properties that are capable of connecting a service and an organization can only start with the service as the primary entity. So a service can produce an organization, a service can have a provider, which is an organization, a broker or a service output, a brand, etc. Oftentimes, we'll use the provider property if we want to state that an organization provides a certain kind of service. With the way that the properties are set up, that relationship has to be made within the service data item. So there you have it. The Schema Paths tool is a fantastic and easy way to figure out the best options for connecting two different data items together.